In health news tonight, a new study finds a link between menopause and depression. It's the age a woman goes through menopause that puts her at risk. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us why and also as a possible remedy. Doc? Well, Chris and Christine, depression tends to affect women more often than men. And according to a new study, a possible reason is going through menopause at a relatively younger age. The average age of menopause for American women is a little over 51. That loss of estrogen may predispose women to depression. Kristen Mumford is a high-powered executive in the financial industry, decisive, a team leader, and then she hit menopause. Night sweats, uh, hot flashes on the hour, every hour, total brain fog, couldn't make decisions. And while Kristen did not become depressed, a new study in JAMA Psychiatry analyzed 14 studies covering 68,000 women and found that the sooner a woman's reproductive years end, menopause, the more likely she is to develop depression in later years. This is a very exciting study, but not at all surprising. Dr. Stephen Goldstein is a past president of the North American Menopause Society and says that it's clear that estrogen affects mood. Estrogen creates a sense of well-being in women who are on hormone replacement therapy. According to the study, a likely reason for this is due to a longer lifetime exposure to estrogens that work as a sort of antidepressant by boosting certain brain chemicals. Since estrogen acts like an MAO inhibitor and helps boost some of the serotonin levels in the brain, people who already have low levels are going to potentially have lower levels. But experts say that this does not mean that early menopause means a woman will become depressed. Patients who do go through very early menopause should be aware of possible mood disorders and think about estrogen replacement to protect or treat them. Christian went on hormone replacement and... It was like night and day. So I had those problems just kind of went away. I could tell myself I was sleeping regularly. I don't have hot flashes anymore. Now, Dr. Goldstein stresses that there are safe ways to do estrogen replacement therapy in many women, women who need them to treat menopausal symptoms that significantly interfere with their quality of life. The key is that it has to be done on an individual, personalized basis to make sure that it's safe. It's not a one-size-fits-all, mm -hmm. and it's not for everyone, but it can be done. All right. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, you Dr.